हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज किशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंसेप्ट प्रोवाइडेड बाय वेरियस मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ द स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क बिफोर डिस्कसिंग ए स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क लेट्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ए फ्रेमवर्क यू कैन डिफाइन फ्रेमवर्क लाइक दिस अ फ्रेमवर्क इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ प्री डिफाइंड लाइब्रेरीज व्हिच कम्स विद सेट ऑफ जार फाइल्स और सेट ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज it is not a new technology but it is an abstraction layer on the top of the existing technology so now you all know about framework now let's take an overview on the spring framework what is a spring framework so you can say a spring framework is a java j2e framework that provides various infrastructure supports for developing java j2e applications a spring hand handles the infrastructure so you can focus on your business logic using a spring framework you can develop a stand alone application as well as any web based application a spring framework is an open source open java j2e framework it was initially written by the rod johnson it was first re released under apache 2 license in june 2003 latest spring framework version is 4.2.6 which was re released on the 6th may 2016 it is compatible with the java 6 7 and 8 now we'll focus on spring modules so basically the spring provides uh, provides 20 modules these modules are grouped into core container data access integration module web aop that is also called aspect oriented programming instrumentation messaging and test modules so here every category contains some set of modules so <clears throat> so these are the spring modules provided by the spring framework but these these modules will get at run time when you run your application then this these modules come to, come come into the picture so let's start with the first category that is core container when we talk about the this category then this category contains five modules in this picture uh, you can see only four modules but implicitly a spring core container contains five modules bins core context there is one more module that is called context support and finally we have a, a spring expression language module so <coughs> let's discuss about the every modules in this category so when we talk about the spring core and spring bins this module provides the fundamental part of the framework including the ioc and dependency injection features okay as of now don't worry about spring ioc and dependency injection we will look into spring ioc and dependency injection concept in depth in the next series of video tutorial now we have a context module a spring context module builds on the solid base provided by the core and bins module it is a medium to access any object defined in a spring configuration file so when we leave we when we we'll, will we'll see some uh, practical example then we'll see what is a spring configuration file Uh, uh, the spring the spring application context application context is an interface and also called this is advanced container in spring framework so the application context interface is a focal point of context module uh, as i said there is one more module that is called a spring context support which is not shown in this figure 
so spring context support module provides support for integrating common third party libraries into a spring application context such as different types of caching like eh guava and j caches this module also provide integration support of java java mail uh, or different type of scheduler like common j and quarj scheduler a spring context support module uh, also also provide integration support of template engines like you have a free marker jasper report and velocity finally in this category we have a spring expression language the spring expression language module provides a powerful expression language for querying and manipulating an object graph at runtime now next category is data access and integration in this category first module we have a jdbc this is also called a spring with jdbc module so <coughs> a spring jdbc module provides an abstraction layer on the top of the jdbc technology itself while working with the jdbc technology as a programmer we are writing the boilerplate code or that is called repeated code like loading the driver opening a connection creating a statement and closing the connection etc apart from the boilerplate code we need to handle the exceptions of the jdbc explicitly because jdbc exceptions are checked exception if you look into the jdbc api so all jdbc api throws sql exception and that is the checked exception so this type of exception you will have to handle within the try catch but a spring has a uh, all a spring has made all exception as a runtime exception so that will not force you to handle within the try catch in order to avoid the boilerplate code also uh, avoid exception handling burden a spring framework has provided this daw layer or data access layer module now next module in this category is orm so ORM module provides integration layer for popular object relational mapping APIs like you have a JPA, JDO and Hibernate. Using a Spring ORM module, you can use all of these object relational mapping frameworks in combination with the uh, combination with all of the other features a Spring offers. Now, next module in this category is OXM and that is also called object to xml mapping in this module uh, OX, uh, oxm module available in spring for easy mapping between java objects and xml documents this module is extensible and hence it provides integration with ver various popular frameworks like jaxv caster xml beans jbix and xstream this module basically uh, we will see how marshalling and unmarshalling process happens so guys what is marshalling and unmarshalling marshalling refers to the process of converting the data or object into byte stream and unmarshalling is a process of converting the byte stream back into their original data or object this conversion is achieved through serialization process Now next model in this category is JMS or Java Messaging Service. Uh, JMS model contains feature for producing and consuming JMS messages. Since a Spring Framework 4.1 onwards, it provides integration with the a Spring Messaging module. So there is one more uh, Spring model that is called Spring Messaging. We'll see after a little while. So uh, a Spring 4.1 onwards messaging module can be integrated with the jms module now finally in this category we have a transactions module so a spring transactions module support programmatic and declarative transaction management for classes that implement a special interfaces and for all your pojo classes now uh, we have a next category is called wave in this wave
category first module be our wave socket so spring has introduced wave socket api using which a browser and wave server can communicate over wave socket protocol in this way we can create a highly interactive ui and online games which needs quick response from the server usually higher version of browser supports web socket protocol now in this category next module is a spring wave module sometimes the scenario may require to be to have a more tight control over the flow of the application to manage the possible ways to navigate through the application a spring flow helps in this kind of scenario by clearly defining the views and transition between them web flow is itself based on the top of the spring mbc hence provides all the features of the spring mbc plus the added control over the transitions now next module in this category is uh, servlet or this module is also called wave servlet module this module module contains a spring mbc or model view controller and rest wave services implementation for wave applications so in this module you can integrate restful wave service uh, with uh, uh, your spring mbc so spring mbc framework provides a clean separation between mode uh, domain model code wave forms and integrate integrate with all of the other features of the spring framework now next module in this category is the portlet and this is also called wave portlet module this module provides the mbc implementation to be used in portlet environment and mirrors the functionality of the spring mbc modules so guys in this category we have a four modules a spring wave socket a spring wave a spring servlet and a spring portlet modules now next next category is the next category contains uh, these are the four modules like a spring o op this is also called a spring aspect oriented programming uh, now a spring op and aspect module helps to modularize cross cutting concern in short a cross cutting concerns can be described uh, cross cutting con concern can be described as any functionality that affects multiple points of your application example of cross cutting concerns like logging transaction management security auditing and caching this kind of functionality you can uh, this kind of functionality you can uh, implement using spring aop with aop you can define common functionality in one place and you can declaratively define how and where this functionality is applied without having to modify the class to which you are applying the new feature cross cutting concern can now be modularized into a special classes called aspects this has two benefits first the logic for each concern is in one place it is not being scattered all over your application now second benefit is that service layer are cleaner because they only contains code for their primary concern and secondary concern have more have been moved to aspects now next model we have a instrumentation so uh, a spring instrumentation model provides class instru instrumentation support and class loader implementation to be used in the certain application server so you have a instrumentation and another model you have a, a spring in, in, instrument instrument for tomcat so a spring provides there are two jars for this model uh, a, a spring instrument dot jar and another is a, stu, a spring instrument tomcat dot jar so another jar is applicable uh, for the tomcat if you want to implement any class loader for tomcat server then that uh, uh, jar may be used now uh, next model we have a messaging before discuss about this module let's discuss what is a stomp a stomp is a simple text oriented messaging protocol that was originally created for scripting 
लैंग्वेजेस सच एज रूबी पाइथन पर